Hello, you are watching the special release of Rotary Ukraine News. Tatiana Tsvila is working in the studio. Today we will talk about one of the most large-scale Rotary projects – Stop Polio Ukraine. Shortly about the main, today in the news release. The open round tables are held in, in Ukraine. The resonance problem polio vaccination was discussed in Lviv, Dnipropetrovsk and Kharkiv. Parents are voting for vaccination. Ukrainian people unite for children's protection. The world may break free from polio to 2018. We are so close to victory over the disease. The open round tables Polo Got Back to Ukraine Children's Protection is Everyone's Business are held in, in Ukraine by the initiative of National Polo Plus Committee of Rotary Ukraine. Organizers invite to discuss the resonance problem of polio vaccination parents, teachers, doctors, journalists to deliver professional and reliable information about the polio and vaccination. I am sure that what we do now is very useful. First of all, useful for parents who are in the cities where we hold roundtables. Experience shows that many parents, especially young people, don't know a polio's danger. They know little about what is needed to vaccinate their children. The more we conduct these meetings, the better will be the result. For parents understanding the importance of vaccination against polio and other dangerous diseases. The open round table in the framework of the Rotary Stop Polo Ukraine project was held in Lviv in January the 29th. The conversation with parents passed in the form of active dialogue. No question has been left unanswered. Inna Sarioglu with details about the meeting in Lviv next in the program. We are in Lviv. The open road trail initiated by Ukrainian Rotarios is taking place here today. We have put together this round table in order to convey information to health professionals who deal with the measure work for the health of children and to the simple, ordinary young mothers. They do not have the time and have no way of knowing the truth about the disease. Also, to answer those questions that unfortunately are provoked by people who are not aware in their understanding that their counter-advertising could arm the health of small children. Revealing the theme of the fight against polio in the world, the governor-elect of District 2232 Hinadi Krochik said polio question was the subject of discussion in the Assembly of Rotary in San Diego. Programs that Rotary is providing were considering in the frameworks of the Assembly. First of all, the main program, a program of the fight against polio. There is a real possibility that in 2018 declaring the absence of endemic polio cases will be possible. But we can already speak of certain rotaries and all involved in this fight victories. At least that only two from three species of endemic viruses left in the world. The participants of the round table talked about the reasons of polio's return as well as about the reasons of parents' destructive vaccination. Particular attention was paid to the myth that have emerged in the community about the vaccine. According to epidemiologist Natalia Timka, the educational programs of immunization, both for parents and for doctors, should be in Ukraine. First of all, we need required educational program for physicians, intertiary institutions and secondary medical schools. In order to primary workers had confidence in immunization and knew all the current information on the vaccination and immunization. The second is the implementation of a course like Veleology or Health Bathics that people will have a general idea what vaccines are and how they work in all educational institutions, regardless of their area of study. 
The conversation with parents was passing in the form of dialogue. Parents not only questioned, but also gave advices to doctors based on their own experience. For example, how to convince the child's mother that vaccination is necessary. All parents are vaccinated, nobody ever said we should or shouldn't. Everyone was vaccinated forcibly. But now everyone who already had the vaccination protected, talking a lot, right? That single question, are you vaccinated? The answer will be yes. So how can you not to vaccinate your child? The round table provides the greatest opportunity to give everyone the possibility to say something. As we can see from the title, all are equal. Everyone can speak, everyone can deny, confirm, argue and oppose. The participants of the round table in Viv said that meetings to discuss issues of vaccination are very needed, because they provide accurate information to parents and form an understanding of the immunization's importance. It is the number one problem in the first place for parents to do the vaccination or not to do. For myself, I think I'll make the right choice. I will vaccinate my child against polio because it is a terrible disease. I would like to see my child growing up as a healthy person in a healthy society. Rotarian, official Ukrainian magazine of District 2230. Rotary function in Ukraine and in all corners of the globe. Discover the world of Rotary. Multimedia Publishing by the link under the video. This close to making history. Of our mentality. We are this close. We are this close. We are this close. This close. this close to changing the world. We are this close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. We are this close to making history. We are this close to ending polio. Because we are this close to ending polio. We are this close to ending polio. We are this, this close, close to changing the world. This close. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. Is you. We are this close. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org slash end polio. What is Rotary? We're a network of people like you. In fact, we're the original social network. More than one million of us live just about everywhere you can think of. And we mean everywhere. We get together to exchange ideas, grow our businesses, and make new friends. We volunteer to help our own communities or someone else's. We're right around the corner. Come join us. The name is Rotary. Rotary International. You're welcome. Today, already 99% of people worldwide live in polio-free countries. It was a difficult path, but we are so close to completely free the world from a terrible disease that if not kills, then leaves the child disability. The World Health Organization, UNICEF, U.S. Centers for Control and Prevention of Infectious Diseases and Rotary International. They joined together to free the world from polio. History of the global initiative to eradicate polio in the hidden history of Rotary with Jana Tantura. The global initiative to eradicate polio was born in 1988, when the World Health Organization adopted a resolution about the beginning of a worldwide fight against polio. The partners have achieved impressive results for the first decade. 
In 1998, 125 countries were registered with endemic polio. Their number left 20 by 2000. The global network of polio laboratories was based in 1999. The researchers used them to predict the behavior of the disease and to localize the outbreaks centers. Another key achievement was the creation of bivalent oral polio vaccine, much more effective than traditional trivalent vaccines. The Global Polio Eradication Initiative presented the detailed long-term plan to eradicate polio by 2018 during the World Summit of Vaccination in Abu Dhabi in 2013. The aim of the plan is laid the foundation for a polio-free world. Thank you, Jana, for an interesting story. We continue the release. National Polio Plus Committee of Rotary Ukraine, supported by the city's Rotary Clubs, held an open roundtable in Dnipropetrovsk on the 3rd of February. Report each about the event coming up next. When people have no information, they begin to fear, says well-known Dnipropetrovsk TV presenter, mother of many children, Natalia Sivak. This is currently happening in our country with vaccination against polio. People need to be informed for elimination the fear to children's vaccination. I want to recommend to all parents and all the people who are responsible for children to heed today's topic, today's press conference, and of course vaccinate their children. Thus, you will protect your children from serious diseases such as polio. The open round table Polio Get Back to Ukraine in Dnipropetrovsk is the fourth round table in the Stop Polio Campaign's frameworks. The purpose of these meetings is to draw Ukrainian society's attention to the problem of the fight against polio and explain to parents why children need to be vaccinated. Today, the immigration, any possible natural transmission of the virus through the water, it all gives a high risk of any child, any person to be infected. Doctors warn, polio is an uncurable disease. It affects the nervous system and can cause total paralysis for a few hours. Only the vaccine is able to protect the child from the terrible virus. There is a possibility to compare Dnipropetrovsk region with other regions of Ukraine. Most of people are positive for vaccination, including the vaccination against polio. Yes, there are objectors, but the medical staff is working with them. Parents have some fears. We try to talk with each parent, explain to them the situation and the need for vaccination. Rotary International is a member of the global initiative of polio eradication worldwide, which aim is deprive humanity from the polio forever. Today, we are very close to victory over the disease. When all the children in the world will be vaccinated, only then the world medicine will confirm that there is no case of the polio in the world. Then we can settle down. It is the same case as with smallpox it happened in the 80s of the last century. And we will say, oh well, except for smallpox, we have polio and we don't need to vaccinate against it. I really would like this to happen in my life and in the coming years. Doctors predict 2020 will be the winner year in the fight against polio. But the last steps to the victory are the hardest always. Participants of the Open Round Table in Dnipropetrovsk appealed to the media for a balanced approach to publishing the materials about vaccination, because we are talking about the health and the lives of millions of children. New public organization Parents for Vaccination will be created in Ukraine. It will unite parents which want to see their children healthy and protected from diseases. Direct speech of next. How parents today are studying? There are only paid courses at the centers of creativity development, at child care centers. You can come there, pay 300 hryvnias and learn more information about the vaccine. There was such idea why there are no such organizations. There are organizations that are against vaccination. Why then there an organization that is for the vaccination? An idea understandable to all appeared. Parents for vaccination. The special release of Rotarian magazine dedicated to the fight against polio rotary in Ukraine and abroad was released. The electronic version of the journal by the link under this video. Rotary's Tom's Dictionary will continue news release. 
Rotary Peace Centers, Rotary Education Program aimed at professionals' training in the field of peace and conflict resolution. It is held at the six universities in the US, Japan, Thailand, Argentina, England and Australia. Rotary Volunteers – Structural Rotary Program that embodied the concept of service above self. Encourages Rotarians to actively participate in projects, which can be applied to their skills. The Rotary Volunteers provide an opportunity for Rotarians and other skilled professionals to offer their services and experience in local and international humanitarian projects. National Polio Plus Committee of Rotary Ukraine invited to an open roundtable in Kharkiv at the 5th of February. Parents, representatives of public organizations, doctors, heads of schools and kindergartens met in the conference hall of Raycard Hotel. The conversation was constructive. The discussion about the way to return to parents the confidence in vaccination and return to Ukraine the status of polio-free country was held in Kharkiv on the 5th of February. The representatives of local authorities, parents and doctors participated in a roundtable initiated by the National Polio Plus Committee of Rotary Ukraine. TV presenter Andrei Kolikov was invited to the roundtable as the moderator. Polio is a global problem. It has its own history. What happened with vaccination in Ukraine? What didn't happen with vaccination? I am sure that the people who are here can quite shortly and convincingly tell us about this issue. The information that organizers will post then in social networks and in the media should be clear to those who first hear or first draw attention to this problem. Why polio get back to Ukraine, whose population is already beginning to forget what polio is? Doctors explain, there was not enough vaccine in hospitals and numerous journalist articles and reports with meaning that the vaccine is dangerous, scared parents. If the situation is not corrected, we will put a risk to not only the children's health, but also the image of Ukraine in the world, says Chief Children's Immunologist of Kyiv Federal P. What my colleagues of Institute in Germany inform me, what my colleagues from other countries inform, recommendations to the embassy are already considering, especially when we are talking about the integration of Ukraine into European space, visa free travel, the good investment climate, the question to issue visas to children under 10 years only with the provision of ongoing vaccination certificate is considering including the issue of stricter control of Ukraine. Today, every three months, the Commission to assess the achievement of the stage which we are, how we can control the situation because we are in the middle of Europe, is held in Ukraine. Hockey region has the best indicators in Ukraine by the results of two rounds of polio vaccination. The level of vaccination in the second round is the 89%. Immunization schools created in the region eight years ago are very helpful to work with parents, doctors say. Parents come to the schools and listen in their parents' language such films. We show here that the child is growing, eating, smiling, develops, but the child is gone. There was an incident with him, he got palsy, disease and so on. We made special movies to every school so they can see how the things happen, how the vaccine is storing, how child passes medical check, and we have received the quota of confidence. Eight years have not been wasted. What is polio? Svetlana Harbunova Ruben, the deputy mayor of Kharkiv, remembered from the childhood, since her friend became ill and disabled. I know that their mom said. I know that the families have the ambiguous attitude to vaccination and polio. I know that there are concerns in relation to all this. But I think that it is normal and right. These concerns have to be announced to the absolute understanding for each one. What could be and what concerns are respected to child without vaccination? It is the right of every parent, and I welcome it. I'm ready for this occasion to meet, discuss, explain, 
and do everything for society's understanding with the deepest and most sincere. Moms who came to the round table Polar Get Back to Ukraine raised a lot of questions about vaccination and received meaningful answers from professionals. I believe that it is very important to hold such roundtables because mothers are coming to experts at the end of the roundtable, thank, say they have received answers to all their questions, many of them decide to make another unsheltered vaccination, many of them have determined to themselves a lot of worried questions that answer and made the right decision. We are on the way to the eradication of polio in Ukraine. And thanks to the round tables, I hope our steps are accelerated. Participants of the round table in Kharkiv also supported the initiative of the Association of Rotary Clubs in Ukraine on the establishment of the NGO Parents for Vaccination, Association of Parents who want to see Ukrainian kids healthy. The next round table within the campaign Stop Polio Ukraine will be held in Odessa, Vinnytsia and Rivne. The campaign will continue until the children's vaccination against polio rates will reach the necessary 95% and Ukraine will regain the polio free status. That's all the news for today. Send us the offers and the information about your club news by mail rotary at colors.tv and we'll cover them in the nearest news release. Subscribe to our channel and be the first to watch the news release. See you in a week.